Good morning, folks. We're about an hour late this morning, hoping you had a chance to use some of that extra time to check out the video we posted last night. More on that in a moment, but let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com, finding that a surface surge central disk and a pop over to the right were the only features of note. The filaments have stayed stable even through the central surge, and oddly, this is clearly a CME releasing on the northwest, and yet neither stereo nor SOHO has the eruption visible. Both feeds were cut last night, and the images that have come back are not what I expected. Anyway, solar flaring is low as that eruption was over the limb and not earth-facing, like most big eruptions these days. I bet it's difficult to even notice any of the tiny sunspots on the disk, but there are three tiny chaps barely worth noting. Solar wind physical characteristics are stable, but the magnetism is in flux, and that geomagnetic instability has continued onward. No storm-level conditions, however. While the leading southern coronal hole closed up and died before our eyes the previous days, the trailing portion is incoming now and on the equator. The first year of quake forecasting comes to a close with this last alert this week, centered around that opening there, eyes open into the weekend. Folks, this footage comes in from Vietnam. An accumulation of late October flood events is combined downstream for hundreds of destroyed homes, thousands of farm areas affected, and a number of people killed. Vietnam has been spared a typhoon, but not the deluge. This comes in from the Earth Observatory. The Great Salt Lake is at its lowest level on record. A little bit of a scary before and after there. And folks, while Sentinel was measuring ground deformation from the magnitude 6.1 in Italy nine days ago, the magnitude 6.6 .6 struck, and they were able to get excellent ground movement data on that one too. Link is below. Folks, the video we put out yesterday is on the big Italy quake, and it's important, and we hope you'll take a peek, thumbs up, share, etc. It is an explanation of the pre-earthquake electric currents and the land movement that caused us to put this map up on Twitter just hours before the big one struck the peninsula. We will have more on the first year of quake forecasting wrap-up coming soon. Until then, we've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.